Hey, hi everyone. My name is Ravindra, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how to add a button in our Outlook mailbox by using a power automate, and also we will see how to make this boring look to an like this type of visual. Okay, you can be see approval request, employee, developer. Okay, in this card view, how to make this? So all these things uh, we are doing practically. So let's I showcase you one demo how it's work. So friends, you can see I am in my SharePoint. Okay, site name was Patch Example One, and I have one list. Okay, Employee One Two Three. Okay, so whenever new item is created in this employee list, okay, let's I create one employee. Okay, Ravindra. Type is FTE. Let's group you here, group developer. Okay, and just simply let's click on the save here. Okay, so my new record is created in my SharePoint list. Okay, let's go to the our Power Automate flow. Okay, let's refresh this. Okay, it is refresh. Can be see four seconds ago my flow is trigger and it is succeed as okay here it is showing running but it is succeeded you can be see in the outlook we receive the new email okay with hrm id approval request employee okay and if you click on the view he is navigating to that employee he user can able to edit do that all necessary changes okay so how to do this by using power automate flow let's we see this okay so this is uh, i just showcase you same flow it is succeeded okay yeah you can be see so let's i turn off this flow first let's go to the create automated flow let's give the name to our flow okay when new employee added in employee one two three list okay so let's click on the create so we are in the new designer okay so always whenever you use new designer keep your trigger okay the actions okay in this place okay because whenever you click at your left hand side the pop up will you will get okay so let's i select my site okay list here let's i select my list our list is employee 1 2 3 okay how often it will check let's i give the frequency 1 okay and let's add an action here Office three sixty five Outlook. Okay, just simply click on that. Send an email V two. Let's give here name whom you need to send. So in this case, let's I give my own name. Okay, you can give dynamic as well. Let's give the subject here new employee added with. HRM ID of so our HRM ID is present title. Okay, so in this uh, send an email. Okay, we you can be see we can simply type the text here. Okay, we can type text. But if you go and click on this toggle code view option. Okay, so here you can type an HTML. Okay, so we are using this HTML. Okay, and uh, Create the button in our Power Automate flow first, and then we will create the card view. Okay, so let's we go to our Chat GPT and let's give here prompt. I already given. Okay, I am creating a Power Automate flow and sending an email by using send email v2 action. I want a button. When user clicks on that button, he should navigate to the google.com for testing purpose i using google.com okay so let's i go copy this let's go to our power automate flow let's i click on this 
okay so th this is our code view okay so let's say go use control v simply and let's click on the save let's i trigger this flow let's add the new item title hrm group dave lapper and let's click on the same so let's wait for a second for our trigger should fire okay it will take 1 minute so let's wait for 1 minute here okay so you can be see we are receive this type of button okay go to google okay click on visit button to go to google okay so let's i go to my power automate flow okay let's click on this toggle okay instead of go to google i will use here view view emp employee details okay now instead of this google.com let's i go here okay and use dynamic content okay item link to the item okay so our link is added now okay so let's click on save let's close this scope highlight for now so our flow is save now okay let's click on automatically with recent trigger let's test the flow click only one time okay here is one bug okay you can see it is tested but still pop up will not go so in outlook let's go and see <coughs> click on button to view the employee details if i click on this so i'm navigating to that employee okay <coughs> okay so let's uh, make it card view okay let's add some dynamic content here okay let's i want hrm id name then email and then employment type and group okay so i simply added here okay we use take the help of chat gpt to create the card type of visual okay so let's we go to the chat gpt okay let's type the message here. hi i am using an power automate send and v2 action i want to email we to action i want to send an email to user with button make card type visual view okay so simply i just given here prompt okay and distinguishing it between cash and just click on the enter so chat gpt is very smart okay it will understand all the things and give us the proper view as well okay so add css to look like card view okay i want to to use this in power automate send email v2 action body you mean that format i want to use this in power automate send email v2 action you me in that format okay so let's like give this prompt one more time let's see what output we are getting okay so it is giving me like it will be okay. so let's like go here copy this do that this much okay in line <coughs> mm. 
So we ask chat GPT to give this in the inline format. So let's we go for power automate and let's use this. Okay. Let's I use control V here. Okay. Let's change the field names here. Okay. Let's make it name. Okay. Field three. Let's change it to the email. Let's change this to the employment. Type. and the fifth one is group okay. so let's save this we save saving our power automate flow okay let's click on the test automatically with recent trigger and just click on the test just click one time, okay. It is successful. Let's check our Outlook email, how it's look like. So this is our new email, okay. So in this beautiful format, okay, in this card format, all the employee detail is coming, okay. So if you want some changes or other things, you can give the prompt to the chat GPT and view, okay. When you click on employee view details, you will navigate to this screen, okay. In this way, you can be create. Okay. I hope uh, you find this video helpful. Okay.